I'm back and today we're making creamy butternut squash pasta with grilled chicken. If you hear noise, that is our sink. The drain makes a lot of noise sometimes. Let's get into everything that we need. So first, obviously, pasta. I'm using chicken breast, which Billy prepared for me. One yellow onion, two butternut squash, squashes? squash. We grew these ourselves over the summer, so this is our first time actually getting to taste one of them or two of them, and we have even more, so I'm very excited to see how they turned out. Then we want fresh sage, olive oil, salt and pepper, and uh, this is where I'm going to veer from the recipe just a little bit. This is supposed to be a vegan recipe, but I'm not vegan and I don't care. So they say to use oat milk or almond milk, or they say you can use vegetable broth. I don't have any of that. We're using chicken broth, so do whatever you want to do. This is what we're going to use. So we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna chop up the butternut squash and we're gonna chop up the onion so that everything is ready to go when I move over to the stove. water boiling on the stove now so we are going to add our butternut squash with a uh, spider drop this in and let it cook for eight minutes so we are going to now start working on our sauce we have a minute and a half left on the butternut squash so I I'm behind I think so get started I'm gonna turn on my flame and uh, the recipe says to use olive oil I'm going to use a little bit of butter all right we want that to get hot and then we're gonna add some sage leaves so our butternut squash is done. So we're gonna throw the sage leaves into the pan, just to flavor, I guess, the butter. And we're supposed to like give them about 30 seconds and then flip them and then take them out for later. And I'm gonna add some olive oil to the pan. And all the while, my butternut squash is cooking longer than it was supposed to. All right, now we want to put the onions in. Whoop, so nobody gets left behind. All right, so it says to add another, oops, Four to six sage leaves. Drop one and do that. Okay, so now we want to add a quarter cup of water. And now it's time for the squash to join the onions. And I'm leaving the squash water on because we're gonna be putting the pasta in there. I think I got the perfect size pot for once for my sauce. Now the recipe is for 12 ounces of pasta and this is a pound, so I'm gonna just eyeball it and leave like a quarter of this out. Cook time, 15 minutes, wow. Aha, al dente in 10 minutes, that's what I thought. Timer. Okay, and I just remembered I'm supposed to be cooking chicken right now, so let's get that started. So I'm gonna get some butter going. I feel the need to point out that this is my first time possibly ever cooking on three burners at once, so please pray for me. I need to reserve a cup of the pasta water, so. I, I never cook chicken, so I don't know what I'm doing. At least not on a pan like this. All right, it's time to strain the pasta. Let's flip the chicken. Okay, now here's the fun part. It says to move our butternut squash stuff into a food processor, but I'm gonna use my immersion blender. We wanna add in our broth a little bit at a time. I'm supposed to put the pasta in with the sauce. Hang on, let's turn the burner back on. Let's add that pasta water. Okay, everybody, that was an adventure and I made a mess and I'm in a bad mood now. So I really hope it's good. I don't know if you want the garnish sage. There's also sage in the sauce. That is tasty. It's a little sweet. 
That's the butternut squash. Mm -hmm. Wow. I like that. That sage is strong. I ate all of my garnish sage in one bite and that was too much. <laughs> it's like bitter. This is really good, if I do say so myself. And I didn't make the recipe. And I made a disaster out of the kitchen. I would definitely not do this again on a weeknight. This is not a weeknight dinner. It's different.